welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank my viewers and those that have liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate all of your positive feedback. Thank you so much. Um, I realize that there have been some issues with the volume on some of the videos. I do thank you for those comments. Uh, for pointing that out to me and uh, I have bought a new mic so I do hope that you hear me better now. Um, this reading is for the last two weeks of December uh, for the sun sign of Leo. So I'm, I'm just kind of been looking over these cards here and to me this all has to do with some sort of wish uh, some sort of dream that you have, a vision that you wish to manifest. Now, you have six major arcanas in your spread, which tells me that, really, this is going to happen. It's out of your control. Um, and I do believe that you're going to get your wish. Sometimes we get things from the universe. It's not as we visioned it. Sometimes it's much better, but we do get it. Now, um, the overall energy for this reading, uh, which is the card on the bottom of the deck, and that is the Queen of Pentacles. And she's here. It's kind of like out of the view, but here she is. This could be could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus person um, in your life. But for me, as an overall energy, I think that it's more that you are very focused on this creating stability um, on your finances, um, property, the material, tangible world. At the center of the reading, and I believe this is you, whether you're male or female, I have the King of Wands. We have uh, another card here who represents Leo, and another one here also representing Sag Leo Aries. We have the couple, basically. But he's not looking here. He's looking over here towards his wish. <clears throat> um, we'll start over here with temperance. Temperance, temperance brings in healing. She is uh, basically, for me, a guardian angel. She's watching over you and she's protecting you. She is about divine timing. Um, she also says not to become overwhelmed by the things that are going on around you because there's obviously major changes going to, going to be happening if they haven't already started. Um, she says that you're on the right path, that you are being divinely guided. Next to her we have the Seven of Wands, which shows you standing your ground and not to give up. Uh, with regards to, it could be at work, a relationship, your values, your beliefs. It's fighting for what you believe in. Under you, we have, under this card here, we have the Strength. And that's about you uh, needing to have um, have patience about the situation. It's keeping control of the situation and having trust and believing in yourself and knowing that you can do it. And you are right next, this card here is next to the star. The star, again, is, is basically saying that what's going on, what's happening or about to happen is divinely orchestrated. It's about you feeling lucky and feeling blessed. 
that you are moving in the right direction and that opportunities will open up for you now. The star is about having faith in the path before you, even if there are obstacles on this path. You know it's going to work out in the end, and you have the strength to do this. What you need to have is patience. You need to have belief in yourself. King of Wands tells me that there's an opportunity that's going to be presented to you. And um, if this is you, this King of Wands, which I believe it is, you're, you are somebody who's very much the leader. Uh, you take action. And probably this is why you're, you're, you're a little impatient. Um, but you're, you're very confident, you're very strong-willed. This card, uh, the energy of this card, I, I, I see this little lizard down here, and it's telling me that to watch out for the element of surprise and to follow your instincts. Now, on this side here, we have the hermit, and he's looking right down at you here. And um, he, uh, he brings guidance. It's very possible that you could have a Virgo around you who, who you can talk to, who can give you counseling. It could be a friend, even. Um, the Hermit also brings uh, information. He sheds light on things on situations. It's possible that there's a need for uh, careful consideration of issues um, to avoid making hasty de decisions. But he's definitely, he's holding this lantern right over you. So I do believe that some, some sort of information is going to come to you. It could just even be through conversation. He's next to the magician. Again, we have another message here with the magician. Even if you have doubts and fears, you know that you can do this. The magician says that you have all the tools you need to make this wish manifest. The magician is about stepping into your own personal power. Visualize a positive outcome and don't stray from that vision. The magician is looking down at the Queen of Wands. It's possible that there's another Sag, Leo, or Aries in your life. So for some of you, it could be um, a relationship that you're trying to manifest, that you're wishing for, that would uh, have to do with the Sag, Leo, or Aries. Um, or somebody that embodies the energies of this queen. The queen of wands would be very warm and compassionate. Um, people would be drawn to her magnetically. Uh, she would be somewhat quick-tempered, though um, that's the negative side of this queen. But she makes things happen. She is all about manifesting, and... Here we have the magician right above her. Perhaps you are embodying these energies. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, to create something. Because the Queen of Wands, she can take an idea and transform it into reality. 
and next to her we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a new cycle beginning, and it's um, it's a very very karmic card, and again the message is the change of fortune is out of your control. Whatever is going to happen is destined to happen. It represents the end uh, the end of current current problems and rewards for past efforts. Opportunities open up with these cards, with this card and this card. So for me, um, I believe that this is, this is really centered around a wish, a desire that you have and you will get it, but you will get it in divine timing. And know that you have everything within your power, all the tools that you need to, to manifest this wish, to make it happen. Patience is the key here. I drew you an Angel Answers card. And you got in the near future. Beautiful cards. So that's all I have for the last two weeks of December. Um, I thank you so much for watching. I thank you for your patience with regards to uh, the volume issues in these videos. <clears throat> and um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, my details are in the description box below. Um, Thank you so much for watching, um, and I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. Bye-bye.